what's good everybody Clint the franchise back today with a brand new shoe unboxing just got these in straight from finish line this past week finish line had their back to school sale which excluded all Jordan retros that were the new release ones the past like month or two well I think it was Tuesday this past week they accidentally had a glitch and all their new release Jordans that just came out the past week or two all went 20% off. So I managed to grab this pair at 20% off, which was an insane price because they had just come out and retail out a whole lot more than that. Out of here. Let's see. Yeah, I got these at actually $152. If you don't believe me. Boom. These just came out, I think, a week ago. We got the new Jordan 14 in that oxidized, I forget the colorway, green with the black leather on it. <coughs> Excuse me. My first showing of these in person. Woo! This leather, this is like butter on this thing. Very impressed. The last Jordan 14 that came out, what was it, late 2014? They were crap quality. You had those gray and blue ones that came out. You had the black toes that came out, and they were like freaking plastic. They were so cheap. Finally, they put nice leather on a pair of 14s. But I'm sure I know what you want. What you want is a much closer look. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. These shoes up closer are actually kind of sexy, aren't they? These actually look very, very nice for a pair of Jordan 14s. This tongue on this, that is premium leather. What's the price point on these? Price point was 190. Woo! If they would have did this quality of leather onto say Jordan 3, 4, 5, 6, price point looking at minimum 220. Maybe as high as 250. I mean, hell, they put uh, on the Jordan 8 Champ Pack, they put very nice leather onto that. Priced them out at 250. And, uh, whoo, these prices keep getting crazier and crazier all the freaking time. All the time. But I guess here on the toe box, you got like a suede, kind of like a new buck. Like it's suede. It is very, very soft. The only downside to this shoe is I see a lot of glue marks. They've got glue marks all across these, uh, what do you call these things? Like little side thing hoochies, I don't know. But they've got glue all around those on uh, this pair, it's not as bad. This one was much worse. There's glue all over here on this one, and on this side, it's even worse. You've just got glue all over it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, here you got a big ass chunk right there just sitting there on, on the shoe. A big ass chunk of glue. So, of course, you know, you got to find some things to complain about with, with the Jordan Retro because that's what we do as 
sneaker collectors, we complain about the shoes we buy for ridiculous amounts of money. But leather quality on these things are on point. They are A1 for material and crafts, well, eh, craftsmanship, but just the little things. There's so much glue in this shoe. But um, I bet you wearing these things around are going to be pretty comfortable. Because this leather on this is like so freaking soft. I mean, it's, it's, it's like butter on this shoe. It's just insanely soft. I'm sure if I actually use these to actually play ball in, that might not... Oop, my cat just jumped up. Come here, Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. Come here. Come here, kitty. Sit down. Sit down if you want to be up here. Sit down. Okay, cat butt is right in the camera. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. There, there you go. There you go. Good boy. Sorry about that. You got a nice shot of a cat butt but as i was saying these might not be the best to actually play basketball in because they are such a nice leather and so soft that whenever you cut on the basketball court it's not going to really hold your foot in tight and really support your foot so i wouldn't think these would be the best to play ball in but of course technology back when these came out in 90 well yeah they released in the summer of 98 um, the technology of these things were like way ahead of their time but looking forward almost 18 years I don't know if I'd actually want to play basketball in these most of the Jordan retros now I mean if I was in shape several pounds lighter I don't see myself actually balling in any of these shoes because one Jordan retros are uncomfortable to wear just going up to the mall to the grocery store they're uncomfortable like they're not a comfort shoe and i hear all these people saying oh the jordan ones are so comfortable what are you talking about like, the jordan ones feel like you've got a brick under your foot there is no comfort no comfort uh i'd say starting with the jordan 10s and up they got a little bit more comfortable 10 11 12 13 14s i've never owned anything about the 14s because to me anything about the 14s aren't jordans i'm 36 so that explains it but Jordan 9 and down man I actually uh, I've been wearing the ultra boosts and Yeezy boost for probably two months straight now switching up all my different pairs and just a couple days ago I actually wore for the first time and I bet you two months a pair of Air Jordan 3 black cements I wore them around for about an hour oh god my feet hurt so damn bad they hurt and uh, my wife and I, we actually came home from shopping early just so I could change shoes and we could go, we could go back out and do more husband and wife stuff. They, my feet hurt so bad after about an hour, an hour and a half of wearing some Jordan 3s that I had to come home and I threw on a pair of Ultra Boosts like that and I was good to go. But, what are you doing, kitty? But it's just insane. <laughs> how uncomfortable Jordan retros are. Oh, they're bad. But anyway, rambling is done. Thanks for watching this video. If you made it through this whole thing, I commend you because I ramble on about all kinds of crap in this video. But I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Not every video is as bad as this one. I don't always ramble on about all kinds of crap. And my cat usually doesn't expose his butt to the camera. So that's bonus footage for you guys. Um, like this video, I'm doing a sneaker giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. I'm giving away a pair of Jordan 11 Concords. I'm giving away other tennis shoes, electronics, all kinds of cool stuff. I might do some gift cards, a Foot Locker finish line. Who knows what? But subscribe to my channel. Tell your friends about my channel. Get them to subscribe so we can give away some free stuff, hopefully, to you. And as always, have a good one. Mm -hmm.